Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of The Long Run, where we are playing Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Uh, last time we rescued something like 33 more uh, DDDs. Uh, DDD is fine. We <laughs> rescued like 33 more Waddle Dees. Unfortunately, we only gained like 2%, so I'm not really sure where the rest of the percentage is. But, um, yeah, we're no longer on the track that we used to be. I'm sure that the Ultimate Cup is part of that missing percentage. Anyway, um, weird time for a stream? Not really. I've been doing streams on Saturday at 9 for the last uh, six weeks. Also, hey, Jewel. Um, so yeah. Now is the time to pick my uh, first ability for the day. So out of all, tw uh, out of all 11 abilities, and I'm excluding sleep, which I'm going to go ahead and use sleep now just to um, get the random buff off of that. But um, out of all of the other abilities, which one would you like me to start with? Jewel saying sword. What about you, Sen guy? Also, if anyone else is there. Sword, sword, a sword, 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 a sword. All right. One of the few level four abilities. So I think last time we finished off on. Yeah, we did. We did uh, the first DDD fight. And now we're on this silly place. The wastes where life began. So we need to shoot three flying targets. So we're probably going to have to replace our sword immediately with Ranger, unfortunately. Defeat the lost Squishy. And one other thing that we don't know. We've gotten all the hidden Ds, so at least there's that. Also, there is like some limited camera control in this game, which is kind of neat. I do like sword, but uh, if, the, if the goal is to shoot down three targets, then we need to have a shooty gun. Throne sword. Unfortunately, there are no, like, there's not really any, like, throwable abilities that don't, like, come back. Like, I remember in uh, Kirby Superstar, you could actually throw the hammer. Ooh.
Joe bean potato. And I almost feel bad for that scarfy. I would feel bad for that scarfy if it wasn't trying to kill me. Okay, so we are looking for uh, two more targets. I think that's just like actually going back at this point. Yeah. So we're looking for two more targets. And we're looking for a lost squishy. And for anyone who's not in the know, squishy is the squid. There it is. And then we're also looking for something else, but yeah, we don't know what it is. Well, there's the warp star to the next uh, area in this place. We don't want to get that warp star just yet. Because there are still two targets somewhere around here. Ah. Hey Tyrion, how you doing? Uh, hopefully, oh, look at that. Annoyed by the weather. Hopefully I'll still be able to get a, uh... oh, all right. So I could have gotten this back at any time. There's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to get the, um, hmm. yeah, there's no guarantee I'll be able to get Ranger back. Also. That's weird that I was able to do that, but I wasn't able to... Hmm. Questions that need answers on this week's episode of Questions that Need Answers.
Also, what it, what is the weather doing that you are displeased with, if I may ask? Oh, there's one of the uh, targets, now that I don't have Ranger anymore. And you straight up do have to shoot it. You can't just uh, destroy it some way, some other way. Oh, there's another ranger. Too warm, no wind. Yeah, I can. I can definitely understand that sentiment. I do not understand, however, why I'm not able to clean those out with a uh, tornado. I can clean them out with that mouthful. If I can find it again. Where did I leave the darn thing? 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, was that like 10 or 15 Celsius? Probably not 10, eh? Ow. 15 and a half. That's not bad. Oops. Okay, so that's flying target number two. Now where is that last one? I've been running under 10 degrees Celsius for the past two weeks as well. Ah, there's the, uh, there's the ring. In addition to rain, not a whole lot of rain here. Hmm. Ow. At least being in mouthful mode seems to protect me from losing my ability. Because touching that uh, purple loop, um, I believe it's a 100% chance to remove your ability unless you're in mouthful mode. Where is that last one?
Oh, there it is. Okay. So we got the two goals that we know about. There's just one goal left that we don't know about. Yes. That that was that was an engine noise from someone who apparently doesn't appreciate the value of mufflers or the fact that they're driving like a maniac in a parking lot. Ooh, 32. Yikes. I can definitely understand the objection with a temperature like that. Kind of hard to figure out what the uh, what the last goal is here when I have like when I I have like no clue of what it could be. All right. Anything over here or over there? Nope. All right. Well, it's going to be complete the sign, isn't it? Watch, it's gotta be complete the sign. No? Defeat Florina using Ring Mouth. Interesting, all right. Ooh, speaking of. Florina always puts on an elegant show when she attacks. Don't get too caught up in her performance or you'll get caught up in her tornado to match. She's very dedicated to her dance career and thinks of every battle as a new lesson. They keep her on her toes. Alright, well now that we know what it is, that seems like a very reasonable thing to do. And that has also unlocked another treasure rift. So we're going to do that after. Need to think what would be the silliest way to do this. Yeah, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Oh, thought that was gonna get you. Apparently not. 
Also, it's not obvious that uh, you'd be able to get to Florino with the Ringmouth, because you would think that you have to, to get there through that uh, ladder. But during my exploration earlier, I found out, no, I can just do that. And there we go. And now I can just rush to the end. Or I can just miss all of those coins too, that's fine. All right, well, that is another stage done. Well, let's see what we've unlocked here. Buzzsaw cutter, off the wall, ricochet switches. Oops. Such a weird mechanic. <laughs> uh, what does this do? Flips those two. Ah. Okay, that flips those. That flips those. Ah, stop that. I gotta get back into puzzle mind here, which I was definitely in this morning. For anyone who wasn't here when I started, uh, I was in a beta for a game that's going to be in Archipelago soon called oh God, really called the witness which is a very abstract open world puzzle game which i'm almost sure that i've played like a super early prototype of that game cuz i remember playing like a very scrappy game that had the exact same mechanic as the witness does. And I said scrappy with an S, not the not the other word. Um, Dragonfire treasure. We net we uh we have attempted this one, but it didn't work out. Let's try it again. I guess. 
Melt and glide. Race to the cannon. Oh, geez. Okay. So far, so good. Come on. There we go. Losing ground. There we go. Whew. Not really sure how you get that one done in a minute, but uh, not trying to dash through. I think that's why I uh, hadn't succeeded in doing it previously is because I was trying to dash through everything. But really the smart thing to do is only dash when there is like a lot of them in a row and a long stretch that you can fall back upon. All right, searching the oasis. Take a nap by the secret pool, which means I'm going to have to actually get rid of this and use sleep. Uh, and another thing that we don't know what it is. I feel like this is going to be a recurring theme. So let's see, where is the secret pool? Yeah, I don't think it's near the start. Dang. Capsule. Aha. This is the place. And uh, we might be able to get Ranger back. All right. And now there's still one objective that's probably going to be closer to the end that we don't know what it is. <laughs> the bed is a good touch, yeah.
I am surprised that didn't hit me. Oh. Ah, I already got that one. Well, it doesn't hurt to check. And if nothing else, it's going to give us a little bit of treasure. And coinage. That we're going to not really be able to use on much of anything. Because the only thing that we really need to buy at this point is um, that one last upgrade. And here we go. Value. At this cactus corn. I should not have destroyed that uh, mall dude. Will you please stop doing that? Nope. Can't do that. All right, that was just health. Worth taking a look around here, I guess. Diligent digging in the secret room. So we we basically just had to get everything, I guess. So it was worth checking here because that's exactly where it was. Now we can just rush to the end. Oh, 
Uh, there's something here. There's something here. Does it get us, get us to the end faster? Gets us to the end safer. I'm down with that. And there we go. Another stage done. Another Tor Torner. Model D. And off we go. Also, I just realized I didn't like turn down the volume a sketch. So that might have been a bit loud. Also, don't want to turn it down too much, especially considering uh, how quiet the um, the shadow cast is. So three hidden D's defeat wild bonkers with cutter, and again, one that we don't know. Yeah, let's uh scrap sword. Uh, let's see. Yeah, three hidden D's. That's uh that seems unlikely. But if that's what the game says, then it must be true. The ghosts of the deceased staff of them all. Now, God dang it. All right. We should start seeing the hidden D's pretty soon, I imagine. We've gotten the first one and the last one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we no, we got the first and the third one. So what do we need for this? So we need the ring. We haven't seen a ring yet, have we? And leading us back here. 
A. I press the button. And that's where the first one is. Definitely hearing A hidden D here. There goes my sword, but I can get another one right here. I think I missed that last time. Apparently you can get crushed by those falling boxes. There's a capsule. Fortunately, I can just restore my own health. Oh, geez. Okay, so we got number two. Uh, what else was there? Defeat wild bonkers with Cutter. So we need to grab Cutter at some point. There it is. Knowing this game, this could be the only cutter on this stage, so we need to protect it. I hear a D. Oh, there's, yeah, there's another cutter there. Yeah, I I figured that I probably had already gotten this D, which I did, but at the same time, this is where Wild Bonkers is. So There we go. And if the stage is giving us hammer, it probably wants us to use it. That is bonkers. <laughs> Actually, the hidden D is probably in that chest, and we're going to need most likely, yeah, we're going we're going to need a uh, ring mouth for that. And what do I see here on the wall? Ah.
There we go. That's what I needed to do. Boing. There's number four. I can definitely hear number five. I'm going to figure that I'm going to do this. Okay, I wasn't expecting a uh, water mouthful. Oh, okay. So there we go. That is all of the uh, hidden Ds. Another green capsule. Yeah. Can you please? This is my hole. It was made for me. Fit through all holes using mouthful modes. So that's it. We got everything. So this was literally the this is my hole that was made for me stage because that's exactly what we needed to do. Portal bar. Blooming flowers, which is new. Warp Star and Galunk. No description because that is one of our friends from um, Pop Star, of course. All Waddle Dees saved. So, Moonlight Canyon, we're missing the first Waddle Dee, and we're missing Find the Treasure Hiding by Cactus Triplets. Find the Treasure Hiding by Cactus Triplets. Which is probably going to be near the end of the stage. They're probably arranged in a triangle. That seems like a likely thing, Jewel. <laughs> Actually, if they are arranged in a triangle, there is a non-zero chance that uh, I'll need to dig in between them. Uh, 
Uh, and I've already done the wanted posters. I haven't seen anywhere obvious that a D might be hiding, and I haven't heard one either, so hopefully there isn't anything in the first room. I like this song. I mean, I, I generally like the music in this game, but I like this song. This is kind of, kind of funky. Thought I might have heard a D there, but apparently not. Yes, I am already doing that. Oh. Oh, geez. Don't think I was behind here before. Aha! I was not behind here before, and there is the last hidden D. So now I just need to find that treasure in the Cactus Triangle. Oh, geez. All right. Yes, Jewel, I found the hidden D. D E E, not just D. Although if it was just D, that could just as easily be a dump here. Yeah, I already got the uh, the wanted posters. Don't need to worry about those again. I'm looking for a cat egg. The Cactus Triangle. Kirby didn't get the posters this time. Get back to the cage, Waddle D number 143. <laughs> Fortunately, that's not how it works. Can I go off the edge? Yeah, I sure can.
Fortunately, I have deep sleep, which means I get to pick when it happens. Unfortunately, we just lost our ability, so hopefully I didn't need it. Also, since I'm basically, well, I could get a attack or defense buff, so I may as well use it. But that would be a lot more annoying um, if it was just regular sleep, because I would just start sleeping immediately. I see a couple of cacti, but not arranged in a triangle. Or... Wait. Cactus triplets. There are three cacti here. Now can't climb up on that. Hmm. Now. There we go. Now. Why is everything falling? But I don't know if any of you saw something that would qualify as cactus triplets other than just where those th Wait a minute. Here we go. Right there. Right at the end. Oh, open the damn chest. There we go. Okay, that's another stage done. And now it is time to fight a boss. Squishy! And a cannon.
Collector in the Sleepless Valley. So clear without taking any damage is the only thing that we need to do. I'm going to see what abilities are available here. And we do have Bomb. So naturally... May I destroy these? I sure can, actually. I can't reach all of them, but I can destroy the ones I can reach. That's where Elphalin was. All right, that's phase one, no damage. And that's damage. Exit stage, there we go. You need to get used to Silly Dillo again is the thing. Another good ability that might uh, that might work out is um, Cutter. But for now, I'm going to try Bombs. Because bombs are pretty much how I ended up de uh, defeating every boss without taking a hit so far, I'm pretty sure. Frickin' uh, That dash is hard to get around. Like, you, you need to have enough distance, but still leave enough distance from the wall that you can uh, get around his next attack. I am glad that uh, there are no such goals in the uh, the dream sequence area.
And I was jumping toward the camera, which means I got hit for sure. That dash is really hard to get around. I give it a couple of more tries here, but uh, I also don't want to be on this boss for like the rest of the stream. Yeah, homing bomb not coming in as clutch as it uh, did in previous bosses. In this boss is fairly easy. As long as I'm paying attention. Which isn't guaranteed. <laughs> Okay, last try for now. Yeah, and the and then there are just no um there are no waddledees in uh was it Wonderia Lab? So at least I'm not gonna have to go do the final boss without getting hit, especially considering that the final boss is actually like five bosses. Uh, that would be a gigantic pain. Okay, phase three. And immediately got hit. Mass DDD does have D's to save, but Mass DDD is not the final boss. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Let's uh let's cleanse our palette with something that we can do with the homing bomb. Seek the switches. Homing bomb hunt.
Nice. Oh, the, the bombs actually jump. I don't think I noticed that before. That's nifty. All right. Well, I probably like just missed the, um, the target. Oh man, did I ever? That's depressing. Point three two set one third of a second. And twin drill, dig and duck, runaway parade. Ah. Basically just an exercise on avoiding confrontation wherever possible. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Got that target time, though. We're almost at 10,000 coins. That can purchase us 10,000 years of Macho Madness. That's how it works. It's a bulk deal, though. It's 10,000 or nothing. Uh, enter the Fiery Forbidden Lands. So, save the Hidden Wildies. There's one left. Defeat two Lookout Awoofies. Find the Secret Passage and use water to destroy seven falling lava balls. At least we know what all of them are. Um, well, that's one of the uh, lookout of Wolfies. I'm not really sure how I meant to get that. I have one idea. Uh, let's see, where is it? Pew pew laser time.
Well, that didn't have the range that I was hoping it would. But should absolutely be able to shoot it down now. There we go. Capsule. Are you the other one? Because you're dead now. You are the other one. Alright. You are also a lot easier to reach. Um. There we go. I'm surprised that there hasn't been a hidden D based on like assemble a green star in the correct order. So we also need to find the secret passage. Hmm. And I guess that's probably not on this uh, map, so. I guess let's just move on. Sometimes just casually walking off the edge just in case there's something there. Sometimes just casually walking off the edge because I'm a derp. And multiple perfectly valid reasons to just walk off the edge. Well, this looks secret passagey. Yeah, that looked like an open window to me, but you know, if you want to disagree game. It's kind of a glowy bit there. There's a secret passage here. Nope. That was also not the secret passage. This is not a kid's game, Jewel. This is basically just rated for everyone. Maybe this is a secret passage. It sure is.
Ooh, red capsule. Dang it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Nintendo is well aware. They're not only targeting, like, younger audiences, but they are targeting people who have been with Kirby for a long time. Like they they want everyone to like have fun and challenge in this game. And also kind of set the bar the way they want to set the bar. There we go. So I still need to use water to destroy seven falling lava balls and also save the last hidden D. Come on, there we go. Their entry level game, like I, I keep, uh, I know I keep pushing this point, but their entry level games until you try to complete them. Because I mean, even uh, finishing like the extra mode in Kirby's Dream Land, the first one, is definitely no joke. And trying to 100% some of these games is a monumental task. Okay. So this is probably where I need to use the water to um, Yeah, game, I could get there faster if you didn't interrupt me. There we go. And I hear a waddle dee in distress. The extra arena tends to be pretty hard. Yeah, at least that's something that we can definitely agree on. One, two, three, four. Everybody out the door. Some car shop sign. Ooh, the lone swordsman Meta Knight. The mysterious vortex brought Meta Knight to the new world too. He quickly tasked himself with finding a way back to Popstar until the beast pack attacked Waddle Dee Town. The besieged settlement needed protecting, and the swordsman never ignores a chance to train. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire roller coaster into his mouth, zip along the rails, and tilt left or right to dodge. 
Everybody strap in because the spaceship Wonderia is blasting off into the future. Whee! You're leaving. Uh, well, if you really are leaving, Jewel, then thanks for dropping by. But, uh, I don't know, maybe you were kidding, I don't know. I... I am never really sure how to read people. Oh, everybody at the door, Cam. Okay, I meant I meant the waddle I meant the waddle D is not my audience. Conquer the Inferno Road. So save the hidden waddle D's. I I need to save number three. And uh, use Crash to defeat Wild Frosty. Yes, because I totally had a hundred viewers there, Joe. Ow. Jerk. Actually, that'd be super cool if I had a hundred viewers, because that mean I'd be eligible for possibly partnership. But, uh... That is definitely not a goal that I'm striving to attain. I, I made it to affiliate, and uh, honestly, that's good enough. I I have been doing my best to uh, to try to at least give you one additional view, Jewel. I wasn't able to do so today because uh, you started streaming real close to my stream time. So I needed to get ready for that. But uh, wherever possible, I've been turning on my phone and uh, have it sitting on your channel. At least try to get you to that point. Oh geez, no, I do not want to use Crash right now. I almost did, which would have been real bad. Um, yeah, Wall Frosty. Such a silly thing. All right. But yeah, you you uh you definitely helped me to get to affiliate, so that that would be the thing to do is you next. There we go. Not sure if that was number two or number one. Let's see if I can get that. Uh... There we I also noticed that uh, you're an average one viewer, hopefully more than that, but uh, uh, well, maybe you checked and that's actually what it is, and that's 
hopefully we can get that number up. Um, I did see as well that you started playing uh, Ruins of Tacos. Oh, there's a uh, capsule came up here. I had just checked. 0.3 for half a e. That's uh, we deserve more than that for sure. Yeah, I find, uh, oh geez, Runes of Tacos, Runes of Tassos is a pretty good game, except that um, I find after a while, like you get to the point where you're powerful enough that nothing really affects you anymore. And as long as you're playing correctly, you're just not going to lose. Ah, you, you are playing multiplayer though, so that's a... At least there's that. I did not get the multiplayer experience. I'm guessing that was number two. Oh, you're playing local co-op too. That's really cool. Don't think I ever did uh let's play or um stream or anything like that that had local co-op. Uh, jumping up there is not gonna get me a point. But I need to save a hidden wall do you need to save number three. We found two so far. Not sure if the last one would be what's over here. I don't think we went over here last time. Over here is a boat. That's definitely a one-way path. Oh, okay. You can do local co-op online, which that's no longer really local, but I get what you're saying. The game thinks it is. So then you don't have to rely on the game's netcode. So I'm noticing wind here. I'm guessing the wind is why I wasn't able to get that last one. Nope, I missed it.
Because that is definitely the third cage I've opened this uh, this stage. I didn't hear it anywhere. Oh, what's going on? Uh, thank you for the follow. Hmm. Oh, we have missed a D somewhere. Oh, we did get Foley. And we also got Stairs. All right, one more pass through this stage, I guess. And if we can't find him this time, we'll just move on for now. Dang. Dang, there we go. Bad snicky snick. Okay, so there's one. So we're gonna call that one number one. I was thinking of getting that crash bomb and then I hesitated and then I'm... then it exploded. <laughs> so, oh well. Ow. Ah, come on. Also, Kirby uh, keeps facing in the other direction. It's kind of a, a loose, uh, loose control stick, unfortunately. Which I believe, if I recall correctly, I did get this. Uh, I did get this controller second hand at EB Games, so I'm trying to save a few bucks. Okay, that's number two over there. Oh, 
Oh, it's another opportunity to get a uh, green capsule. And then fall to our doom. Okay, I'm I think Kirby, please. I think I haven't actually come here. I'm not hearing a D though. Because part of the problem is you get this, and then that happens. So you gotta do a very precise jump to get over here. Then you can break that. Oh, and then there's a door. Welcome back, Jewel. Oh, and this is timed. Okay. There we go. Just a little more. And there we go. So now we just gotta finish the stage. See, this is why I wish that um, it would show like which one you're getting, even if you're not getting a new one, because then I'll be able to get this and it would tell me, oh, that's the fourth one. You missed one. Yeah, dummy. Progressing on second, un uh, oh, in, uh, in tassels or... Ah. Go ahead and use my energy drink. There we go. So I'm not sure if I asked you, Joel. Um, but what what uh, what do you think of Tasso so far? Very fun. Uh, yeah, Rogue Heroes Runes of Tassos. Um, or as uh, J-Pop likes to call it, Runes of Tacos. Uh, it is a roguelike-ish 
um, a progressive roguelike-ish type of game. Um, and yeah, it's all right. Except that I find that eventually it is possible to get strong enough that you just yeah like it doesn't it's not a challenge anymore at least that's that was my impression of it how many more qualifiers can you add to rogue well the problem is people who call everything roguelikes nowadays don't even know what rogue is so Anyway, <clears throat> so we're doing pretty good. Uh, 281 qualities. We only have 19 more to find, and we will continue to find them after the break. So I'll take a moment to get a drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 15 minutes, we shall continue on this adventure to save as many of the Waddle Dees as we can possibly get. Um, I don't know if we'll save them all today. We have enough time to save them all today, but I don't know if I have the skill to save them all today. Um, but uh, we might move on to collecting soul pieces after. Um, getting past the uh, mass DDD fight. We'll see. Anyway, back in a bit. <laughs> 